Hey everyone, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And you hear these uh, little weird squeak squeak sounds. So if you look here on the waterfall from about roughly 13,420 all the way up to 13,480 roughly, uh, you see these kind of lines that go and the signal is not super strong right now so you don't see them super well. But this is what we call CODAR. CODAR is a type of radar that is meant to actually look at ocean waves. So with this type of radar, they can actually map the surface of the ocean and check out the height of the waves and the speed of the waves. So this is what you hear. And uh, they are scattered around a few places on shortwave. So this 13 megahertz one is one of the, the codars that you uh, see right now. And if I go down, I don't know, we're daytime, but I think I'll still get some in the daytime. So if we go into the daytime, and by the way, this is a some kind of digital signal that just appeared uh, within the codar. Um, if I go around 4,500 kilohertz in the four megahertz range, um, it's not visible right now much. You might hear it slightly. Uh, it's much stronger at night because uh, there also is CODAR, another form of uh, radar, of course. It's the same type of radar for ocean waves. But this one, of course, depending on propagation, they have to have different frequencies so that they can actually um, basically you know, have daytime and nighttime patterns of the ocean that they can check on because propagation is important also uh, in these uh, radars. So um, there's some over here, there's some a little higher around, I believe 4,600 kilohertz um, that is uh, scattered on four megahertz, but you know, right, we're, we're midday here, so it's impossible to see it right now. So the ones that's really, really going on well right now is the one around 13,450 uh, that a lot of you have mentioned. So CODAR, it's the type of radar that uh, serves to uh, check the uh, ocean wave and uh, you can check it out. There's even a Wikipedia page that talks about it. It's uh, quite interesting and it's part of some of the weird signals that you sometimes can hear on the shortwave bands. So I hope that you enjoy our videos and that you enjoy our videos that actually tell you what are you listening to or we're going to do more of these and check out the different signals and say, okay, what type of signal that is and what is it used for. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.